How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and today's video is again going to be on the Amazon Fire 5th Gen 7 inch tablet. But today I've got some exciting news for you and I'm going to show you some cool stuff. So first things off, I'm going to show you what we're working with. So go into, actually system update is the best way to look at that. So right here you can see it says Fire OS 5.1.1, right? So on this your bootloader is locked down, you really can't flash custom ROMs. Well not so at least so what i'm at least this is what i'm told so we're going to test the process out to get a cool custom rom on this device right here now there is some prerequisites for this and the first one is you're going to have to have root access now if you watched my previous video on my super tool for this device um you can do you can get root access with that and you'll have super Sue installed and you'll have root access so that's going to be a prerequisite the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download flash fire that's what we're going to use to go ahead and flash the custom ROM. It's very cool. It's kind of like a bootstrap recovery or kind of comparable to safe strap in some ways. If you guys remember that by uh, hash fire or uh, hash code. This is by Chainfire, an awesome developer, obviously the developer of Super Sue as well. So that's going to kind of be your prerequisites. Let me just show you what you got to do. You're going to download all these things to your device right here so right here if you go to this community you can click on this link I'll link it in the video description down below and you can click on that and that allow you to install flash fire you can only install it through this you can't just go and search it on Google Play Store then you gotta come over here and get rid of the advertisements on XDA stupidness and uh, you're gonna go to this link this is slim ROMs for the Amazon Fire 5th gen and you're going to download some files from here. So right here is download. So you're going to download the ROM, and you're going to download the Google applications that are recommended. Once you've got all these files on your device, then we can go ahead and run this process. So to do this, you're going to go into FlashFire and open it up. And a, give it root access, so grant root access. Like I said, have to have root access for this to function. Um, I'm kind of curious to see how this works. Worst case scenario, if you mess this up, you can watch my restore video on how to restore the stock firmware. And that should restore your device in case something goes terribly wrong in this process. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus button. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to wipes. And we're going to wipe all of that, including cache, system, third party, Delvic, and cache. Do not wipe internal because it's probably where you have your files for flashing. I put mine on my SD card, external SD card. That's probably important to note. It's a good place to put them. So then hit uh, checkbox up there. Now we're going to go down here and we're going to hit it again. And we're going to say flash zip slash or, or OTA, uh, OTA. So we're going to do that one. And we have to navigate to our external SD card. So up here in the top, you can go to SD card. And this is where I have all my files. So we're going we're gonna to flash the build, which is the ROM right there if it'll work select oh there it goes we're going to do auto uh to go ahead and check that auto auto mount hit okay and then we're going to add another one and we're going to add the google applications which are right there do the auto mount hit okay and we should be all set here's a list of everything that's going to happen and ever root disabled we'll leave that alone normal so we'll go ahead and click the flash button and once you do this you've committed so hit OK and we're gonna see what happens now I've not done this yet this is my test run and trial run right here so I'm a little bit curious to see how this functions but I know Chainfire is an awesome dude and a really really good developer and has made this application work quite well now that being said this is like a beta app so if it doesn't work for you don't blame anybody just it is what it is um, hopefully it'll work hopefully this will boot up hopefully this round will install off what I've been told it does I tried this previously on Saijin mod and it failed so we're gonna see what happens here so here this is a good sign so that is the ROM being flashed when I did CM it failed here so this is very good um, and then after this does it should do the same thing again with the gaps unless it already did them I think it already did them that was extremely fast Let's uh, see what happens here. So here's the Amazon logo. Should be a custom boot animation. 
Oh, it is. Nice. I think that worked. Okay, so <laughs> that's cool. So this is Slim Rom's boot animation. That was really, really simple. Um, I'm really excited to see if this works this easily. Basically, that means Flash Fire will allow us to flash custom ROMs, and that is awesome. So let's let this boot up, and then I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough of Slim ROM on the Amazon Fire 5th Gen 7-inch tablet. Quick note that the boot up process could take up to 10 minutes for first boot. I would guess more like three, but be able to give it 10 minutes before you think there's a failure. Um, if it's stuck on the screen for more than 10 minutes, then you probably have an issue. Slim P. LP actually it says. All right, so we're doing our Android is optimizing. This is pretty standard stuff whenever you flash a custom ROM. So we'll let this finish up. All right, guys, here we go. Finishing boot. That is the final sign that we should get our lock screen or home launcher to pop up here in two seconds. There we go. Lock screen. Let's go ahead and swipe up. Ah, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, cool. Oh, <laughs> nice. Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, so let's see what we got in this. Um, ooh, that was interesting. It looked like it just added some more files in there. Kind of curious. So we have... Play Store, Nova Launcher, Downloads, Gallery, Kernel Auditor, it looks like. That's interesting. Layer Manager, that's cool. Um, some standard side mind stuff. Dev Tools is interesting. All right, let's just, just skim through it. Let's just let's look around. All right, so we've got all this. This is a standard. It looks exactly like Nova Launcher to me. Um, pull Down. Oh, dude, I love it. Standard Android. I like this a lot. So that's really cool. Um, let's go ahead and just kind of check out settings. Oh, man, man. Wow. Ooh, I'm loving this. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead. The first thing I want to do is I want to see if we got super, or super user root access. So we're going to go into about. There's your slim LP. We're going to tap on our build number and turn on developer options. And then under developer options, let's see what we have here. So... ADB debugging, we'll turn that on. Now, I thought that SuperSU was included in this, but I'm not seeing it. And da, da, da. not seeing anything with root access mentioned in there. Let's see what else we got here through here. We have advanced interface navigation. It's interesting. I wonder if this thing has a root. I'm not seeing it right now. Hmm. Let's go into documents. So SD cards, you can look, yeah, you know, look at your files, downloads, internal. So it's all there. I'll have to run a root application and see if we have root. But let's keep looking around. So far, it looks really nice. I mean, we could always go black with Flash Fire, Flash, Flash Fire, and just flash the Super Su zip. So it's not the end of the world. But um, let's just see what we got here. Uh, that's interesting. Let's, let's go back into settings. And this is probably going to be your cool stuff, your interface things. So let's go to advanced. Oh, there it is, Super Sue. So it is included. So we'll click on that. And install add-ons, survive custom. Yeah, why not? And no thanks. And okay, so it's all here. We're good. It's just built in under advanced settings. So there you can also launch kernel auditor, um, global menu, screen recording configuration, lock screen, double tap sleep. Oh, that's cool. Let's turn that on. Let's see what happens here. Will this work? I think it's on lock screen. Let's try it. We'll do double tap wake. Uh, it doesn't do double tap wake, just double tap sleep. Eh, it's still cool though. Let's see what else we have. So that's advanced. Kernel auditor, I'm not going to mess with right now. I'm sure it's got some cool tweaks in it. Let's go ahead and do interface. So we have quick settings. Oh man, there's there's a lot in here. A lot of cool customization stuff. Select orders. There's your tiles. You can add a tile. So maybe you want inverted colors. So you added it on. Um, what else can we do? Screenshot you want on there maybe. Nice. All right, cool. So now if we pull that down, let's see. Is it Adam? There's screenshot right there. Inverted colors. Oh, sweet. So you can see there's lots of cool configuration. Um, status bar. Do clock and date, so you can change it. AM, PM you want on there. 
small font size. Yeah, so there's PM because I didn't set my time yet. Color. Oh, is white? Oh, no way. This is going to be cool. All right, let's see. Oh, yes. All right, so this is pretty awesome. There's all kinds of cool stuff. We'll do, let me, let me move this up. Let me, we'll do like red because I like red. Let me like root junkie red. Nice. All right, this is pretty sweet. I love customization. Battery icon. You can change circle. Uh, in text for inside for battery percentage. We really need that to have a color changing as well. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, brightness, networks, there's all kinds of coolie stuff here. Network traffic, recent panel tabs. So there, oh, you can configure that. So that'd be like this stuff and how this looks. So you can configure that stuff. Theme configuration, grants. So this is with layers. Yeah, okay, cool. So now you can configure, oh, dude. All right, this is better than, this is better than CM, at least right now, CM12. This is way cool. Um, yeah, you guys got to check this out. Definitely install it. There's navigation as well, so you can change your navigation buttons down there. Slime pie, so pie is where you have this thing that comes off the side. I'll show it to you. So we can turn this on. Um, come on, there it is. See it? There, you can navigate. And you have different hotkeys and stuff you can do. So that's pretty sweet. Um, let's go back into settings. I don't want to, I don't like that. I don't like pie myself, but it's there. And you can customize that whole launcher there, that whole side swipe thing. Um, nav bar, all kinds of, oh man, this is nice. All right, so let's put it this way. You got to check it out. You got to install this. You got to play with this. This is tons of customization and awesomeness. And I would highly recommend it. But there you go. There's um, Slim ROM. There's how to install it with Fire Flash. Um, there's a review kind of of it, an overview of it to see what's built in. And it is looking sweet. Last thing I want to see is I want to see if it has a, a power off menu. Let's do a reboot. Okay, it's just a reboot. It doesn't have reboot to recovery or anything, but that's fine. So there you go, guys. That's going to wrap it up for me. That is Slim ROM with all the cool ways of getting it all set up here on Fire OS 5.1.1. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope it wasn't too long for you, um, but very, very awesome. Stay tuned for more videos on this device as I want to keep covering it because I like it. For $35 on Black Friday and $50 bucks normally, it's an amazing deal now that we have some great development for it. That's going to wrap it up for me. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.